Justification earned by Jesus Christ. Sanctification is, over time, the work of becoming holy. Or Okay, what is the difference between sanctification and justification? Okay, when I went to Europe to study for my doctorate, uh, I, I arrived in Spain, and I had already uh, earned a master's degree in sacred scripture, but they told me when I got there, and I didn't know this was going to happen, they said, well, we don't accept American degrees. Pontifical University, we only accept church degrees. Therefore, you're going to have to take the examination for the bachelor's degree. And then two years of courses for the licentiate, and then you can work on your doctorate. So I, the, the appointed day, I had to go for the exam from my bachelor's degree. And I, it's a big u university in Spain, University of Navarre. And we went to the Aula Magna, the big room, the, and uh, the student body was there, hundreds of students, um, a panel of five judges seated on a dais. And um, they brought out, it's a, it's a medieval process. They bring out a bag containing 50 or 100 wooden balls about the size of ping pong balls, like they use in the lottery some places, with numbers written on them, you know, like... And those, the questions, there were a hundred questions that basically uh, represented the body of knowledge that you should know at that level of education. Like you've got a bat, you're trying to get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a doctorate degree, you should know this body of information. And you reach in and you choose one of these and it has a number, 43. And that corresponds to the question. And then you have five minutes to go out, write down some hurried notes. You've got to come back in and give a one-hour lecture on that subject. And then the professors have one hour to cross-examine you. That's how you find out if somebody knows something, by the way. <laughs> My question was on what you're asking here, on, on the grace of justification. You know, it's a, big, it's a broad question. It, I you know, can only say a few words about it. Justification, first grace, if you will, comes only through the merits of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Paschal Mystery, okay? The grace of justification. In other words, how do we get right with God? How, how, do we, how are we pleasing to God? Only through the merits, the infinite merits, of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. I think that's a lot of times our Protestant brothers and sisters criticize us on this point. Oh, you think you can earn them? No, Jesus earned it on the cross. We believe that. First grace. Then you're in Christ. After you're the justification, then you're in Christ. Right? The first grace, baptism. You're, caught, you're in Christ. Then, as we say in theology, de congruo, congruently, you can begin to merit. In him, though, only through him, with him, and in him. And that's sanctification, becoming holy. You work on that through prayer, acts of virtue, rejecting evil, doing good, and so forth. Okay? So, justification earned by Jesus Christ. Sanctification is, over time, the work of becoming holy or sanctified. That also is, is a work of God. But it, it, he won't do it without you. You know, one of the, er one of the errors of some Christian groups is, well, once, you know, once you're saved, you can't sin, you're okay, you're, you're done. Man, you're saved when you get there. <laughs> Otherwise, St. Paul uh, and, and Jesus himself weren't right. You've got to work out your salvation in fear and trembling. If all of I have to do is get baptized, and then I'm saved, I can do anything I want. Baloney. Baloney. You can separate yourself from God through serious sin. You know, so you know, that's common sense to most people, I think. 